No, honestly, forget about my journey. This one is too good. It's Red Panda, it's Recraft, call it however you want, but it's good. First of all, it's too realistic. If you take a look at this picture here, it's a simple prompt I used to create this cute red panda. And in the free version of it, you get two pictures. So you get one which is cartoonish one, which is, by the way, cute. It looks good. And the second one is realistic. And it's really, really good. Have a look at this. I will just upscale this one. It's just too good. Too realistic, right? Look at the tree. Look at the tail. It's really, really good. But it's not just about image creation with Red Panda. It's about workspace, right? There's a lot of features here that I'll cover later on. But one thing you should know that it is not just image creation tool. You've got the workspace for you, just like you would use Photoshop or something. We're going to cover all of that and we're going to talk about some of the ways in which you can make money with this one. Don't expect miracles. I'll show you some of these side hustles that are pretty good and that can work for you. And yeah, you can use it for free. 50 credits daily. I'll talk about it. First of all, I'm not affiliating with them. You can just Google for them. Recraft AI. It's going to be the first result here. The website is going to look like this. And it's just crazy. I mean, too many colors for me. But the inside of it is way better, right? So I'll cover some of these things that you can do with this one. You can, yeah, you can do a lot. I'll show you. But what you have to do in order to start, of course, just get here get recraft free or just click on start creating now on this button here you can create yourself an account with google discord apple and this is going to be your dashboard so first of all they have a lot of tutorials they have a lot of tutorials on vectors on mockups which i will cover especially because it's so good and some basics right but now i'll show you how to start a new project by just clicking here on create a new project and what I was telling you about this is the workspace that you have right so this is the entire workspace look what happens if you click here and you can create image from this button here you click on it and then you get something on your workspace now if you hold hold control and you just move the mouse wheel it's just going to zoom out or zoom in right so this is the workspace that you have and you can place whatever you want inside of this you can place text you can place images you can place mock-ups if you want to write something as i've told you there's a text button or you can just type t and then choose a font here choose the weight of your font and then just click anywhere sorry for that you just click anywhere to type whatever you'd like to type so it's pretty pretty good it's a design workspace after all so let's just go with image if you put this button here this will appear here and then when you click on it it'll open up this now when you use the free version you can't create more than two images at once and all your images are going to be public right i don't mind it here you choose the aspect ratio with this slider here i'll use 9 by 16 because i want to use this for social media and this is going to be my workspace now this button here is to choose a model so when you click on it you're going to have hit with a lot of these models and they're just cool. They're just good. My favorite one, of course, is this V3 with Recraft and photo realism. I have some use cases for illustrations as well, which I'm going to cover later on and what you can do with it with social media. But Recraft, this V3 model is really state of the art. They have some specifications here and some, you know, good things about it. But have a look at this. You can create a lot of text with it and it's not going to be bad at all. There are, you know, many good things. I love the hands. I love the people. I like everything, in fact, with this one. So you can just go and explore on your own. I'm not just going to waste your time here. I want to show you how it works. So I'll stick to V3 for now and I'll just make something. It's not going to be a panda this time, but I like animals, so it's going to be a cat. I'll type it like this, so it's going to be cute orange cat, just like that. And then just click on Recraft here, and it's just going to create just like any other image generation tool. So here it is. This is our cute orange cat, and as you can see, it's pretty darn good. Have a look at the fur. You got the second image as well. This one is not too realistic for me but it's still good, right? So now you've got two images ready to use on whatever you want. For example, if you wanna remove the background, there's a button here for it. You can change the backgrounds or you can just remove the backgrounds with this one. 
Now, what's good about this is that you can play with colors as well. There's like fine tune here. Color scheme is right here. So you can instruct the model to make something based on your color palette, which is pretty cool. You can adjust the colors here with this. As you can see, color spectrum and the picture is going to change. You can play with saturation, with brightness. It's a bit aggressive though here. And there's a lot of tools and features that you can play with. But let's just make money with this one. Before I dive into it, as I've told you, do not expect miracles. You have to play with it. You have to get good with it. And the only way to get good with it is to practice, right? It's not hard. You just have to sit there and you have to play with this workspace, which is really fun after all. But there's one thing which is really popular nowadays because we have too many e-commerce owners out there and they all need mockups. And this is the perfect place for it. So I'll move my cat here. And let's say that I wanted to create a mockup for a mug. I can go to Pexels and take myself a mug just like this. And then I can just move it here onto this workspace. If it's too big, it's going to downscale it. And as you can see, it's pretty fast. So now I'll just move this mug. I'll just resize it a bit. I don't want it too big. Now I want to create certain design that's going to go to this mug. All right. So I'm going to do it like this. I click anywhere on the workspace and then I just add another image here. I'll just move this image like this and then I'll just change the model because as I've told you, illustration is what I want on my mugs. So I'll just click on apply here and then I'll just use the same prompt. I want cats everywhere. So a mug is a good place as any. So I just wait for it. And here it is. You got two cats this time. It's the illustration model and it's pretty, pretty good. What do you want to do now? You click on this picture that you intended to make a mockup out of it. And then there's a button here, which is called convert to mockup. Now you just click on it and then you just wait for it. Another way of doing it, let me just show you, is to click here on this button, which is called new mockup. And if you click on new mockup, it's going to convert this model to product photo. And I can just type in a mug or a white mug. All right, I'll just do it like this then click on modify image. You will have to create another section of it and then you will just have to click white mug, type it out and it's going to make a white mug out of it. But as you can see, it already took my picture that I've downloaded from Pexels and it created a mockup out of it. So that's the first step. As you can see, it says here a little letters, but I hope you can see it's a mockup. Now this picture is a mockup. This one here is not a mockup because it's not tagged as a mockup. But in the meantime, you get this one as well, which is a mockup as well. So let's just use this. All you have to do now is to click on this image here and then you just move it. You drag it and then it's just going to convert. If you wait like one second, it's just going to convert to a mockup right now. You can see it's too big. So when you let hold of it, you can just resize it like this until it becomes way, way smaller because this is what we need for this. We need this to fit on our mug because you now it's too damn big. I'll reduce the size a little more. Now you can play with it like this. You can place it like this or you can just make the whole cat like on the whole mug, right? You just have to play with the size of it, right? And when you just do this, it's good. Right. But it's going to work way better with this here because this was generated with Red Panda here. You've got lighting and everything. So you can just move this image. Just have a look at how cool this is. You can place it on the table, but I'll just do it like this. Let's zoom in a little bit and you can just increase the size of it, place it on a mug. But of course, it's just going to work better if you have vector images, if you want, you know, just some logos on it. But actually, it's not bad like this as well. So this is a cool mug right? It is going to depend on the image that you want to use. Now, why do I think this is a good thing? Well, I saw a lot of people that are doing this, right? And I saw that a lot of people are making some good cash with it. For example, this person is charging $45 for each one of these designs, right? So $45. And as you can see, he gives you four images for $45. And he's not the only one. There's a lot of people on Fiverr only that are creating this. Now, I wouldn't stop there. I would promote myself on social media as well. I would create myself an Instagram theme page, which is just for the mock-up generation. 
and honestly, there is some really, really good money in it. But it's not a get-rich-quick scheme, and, you know, you can't use the free version forever. So this is something, if you think this is for you, if you have some passion or interest in it, you have to make a plan. You have to tell to yourself, okay, first two months, I'm going to learn how to use this tool. After that, I'll start selling this to people out there. And little by little, you will build yourself an extra side hustle, right? Down the road, a lot of doors will open to you. You will get more and more clients coming to you. And who knows, you can make real full-time job out of it. I mean, if a lot of these other people are doing it, why can't you, right? It's all about work and consistency and your effort. The tool is there and it's pretty good. The pricing though, as you can see, you get 50 free credits daily. You can use it for free, but if you really want to make money with this, I recommend later on when you get some clients, just switch over to the basic plan, which is not so expensive. It is $10. So $10 per month, and this can be your goal. You get 45 per one client, right? So that's about it. It's pretty cool. You don't have to pay for it. Just practice with it, play with it, and then decide whether this is for you or not. So wish you good luck, and I'll catch you in the next one.